with our fifth lesson of our President's American Symbol. Today, we're going to be learning about another one of our founding fathers of our country, and it's going to, we're going to talk about Thomas Jefferson today. So, as I'm reading today, I want you guys to think about what was Thomas Jefferson's talent and what he did with his talent. Um, and I want you to consider why his talent would make him a good leader. A talent is something that somebody is really good at. Um, some of you guys might be very talented musicians. Maybe you can play the piano or you can play the cello or the trumpet or flute. Or you might be very talented at a sport. So we're going to be listening to today's read aloud to see what is Thomas Jefferson's talent and what how that made him a good leader of our country. So first we're going to get started with our vocabulary. So our first vocabulary word that you're going to see and listen and hear in our story is um, admired. Thought of with respect or looked up to. So somebody that I admire is my mother. And you can see there's a picture there of a little girl looking up to her mother or possibly her teacher or her grandmother, whoever that is. Um, but you think of them with respect and you look up to them. Authors. Authors are writers of books. We know that. We read lots of books. Um, they can write reports or they can write articles and newspapers and magazines um, on the internet. Um, authors come in different forms, not just of books. Colonists. Colonists were the group of people who lived in a colony in the new country or area, but they're still, they were still ruled by the country they came from. So whenever the British came over here. They were colonists because they were still ruled by the British. Declaration is it a statement or an announcement. So it's just a fancy word for making an announcement or a statement, but it's a very important statement or an announcement. Independence is freedom from the control of another. So you can see here in the picture, this fish is trying to get free. He's trying to get his independence into the other fish bowl. So independence. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started with our story today. So listen um, and for Thomas Jefferson's talent and how he is one of our founding fathers of the country and what he did for us. Okay. You are learning to read and write. One day you will be able to pick up almost any book, open it, and start to read the words. How wonderful! Of course, someone wrote those words. People who write books are called authors. Our third president, Thomas Jefferson, was a great reader. Because he wanted to learn about many different things, he owned more books than anyone else in the country. He once said, I cannot live without books. Thomas Jefferson was also one of the best writers ever to live in the United States. He wrote words that are still famous all around the world, even though he wrote them a long time ago. Let me tell you about the most famous words he ever wrote. It was long past midnight. The guests at the inn wanted to sleep, but they could not. An inn is another word for like a hotel or a motel. Thomas Jefferson was keeping them awake. They could hear him pacing in his room, talking to himself. The guests thought, we will complain to the manager of this of the inn tomorrow. She must ask Mr. Jefferson to be quiet. At least he has to stop playing his fiddle. He says it helps him think, but it keeps us awake. So he's pacing back and forth, which means he's walking back and forth, and he's playing his fiddle. So the people in the inn can't sleep. Thomas Jefferson was a wonderful writer. He wrote about what he grew he wrote about what he grew on his farm and how he grew it. He wrote about music and art. He wrote about the best ways to design and construct houses and buildings. 
He wrote about animals and birds. He wrote about how to be a good friend. He wrote about the Native Americans who came to America long before the colonists. He wrote about nearly everything because nearly everything interested in, interested in him. Sorry. So he was very knowledgeable, meaning he knew a lot about things. And so he would like to write about them. At that time, however, Jefferson was trying to write a very important document or paper that is now famous in American history, the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson believed people should be free to make most decisions for themselves without a king or queen telling them what to do all the time. As he wrote the Declaration of Independence, he used an important word, liberty. In writing about liberty, Jefferson wanted to choose the best words so that the people reading his writing would understand and agree with his ideas. Why was Thomas Jefferson writing this document? Like his friend George Washington, Jefferson thought it was time to start a new country and not be a part of Great Britain any longer. Not everyone in the colonies felt this way, though. Jefferson, along with a few others, needed to give good, strong reasons to make this big change. They were hoping to persuade or urge or convince We've heard that word before. Most of the colonists to believe the same thing. The leaders from all over the 13 colonies met to talk about what to say. They chose five people to work on a document explaining the reasons for a new nation. One of the people working with Jefferson was John Adams. Jefferson and Adams were great friends, although Adams was as different as he could be from Jefferson. John Adams lived in the North. Thomas Jefferson lived in the South. Adam was short and older. Jefferson was tall and younger. Adams loved to talk, especially in front of a crowd. Jefferson loved to read and write but was shy in front of a crowd. However, they were alike in at least one thing. They agreed it was time to start a new nation. Because John Adams was older, Jefferson suggested, John, you should write the paper explaining our ideas. No, Thomas, Adams replied. I have angered so many people by arguing for a new country that some of them do not like me. They might not want to help start a country if they know that I wrote the paper announcing it. Everyone likes you. So they will be more likely to help. Besides, you are a better writer than I am. You will find the best way to say everything. Well, that sounds like a lot of pressure to put on Tom Jefferson. So on this particular night at the end, Thomas Jefferson wanted to make this important document the very best thing he had ever written. In the Decla Dec Declaration of Independence, Jefferson wanted to explain to people that America could be different from any other nation in the world. He thought about every word before he wrote it down. That is why he was waking, walking up and down his room, speaking aloud the words he was deciding to use. Life, liberty, and hmm, what else should come next? The pursuit of happiness, he told himself. At last, he began to write. On the 2nd of July, Jefferson finished his declaration and showed it to John Adams and the other work, others working with him, who suggested a few small changes. Jefferson's declaration said that every person should feel safe to live, to be free, and to decide what to do in order to be happy. 
he wrote that everyone, not only kings or queens, had the right to do these things. Jefferson's declaration said that this was the reason to start a new nation, the United States of America. His friend John Adams smiled and he said, I told you, Thomas, you were the man to write it. Two days after Jefferson finished the Declaration of Independence, on the 4th of July, the other leaders voted to officially begin the new country that would be independent from Great Britain. That is why we call the 4th of July Independence Day. After the new nation was born, Americans read Thomas Jefferson's document again and again whenever they were deciding how the country should work. People in other countries said, we want to be free too, and followed America's examples by making changes in their countries. Jefferson's words about liberty changed people's lives all over the world. Thirteen years after Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence, after the colonists won the American Revolution against Great Britain, George Washington became the first president of the United States. Later, when Washington announced, I have been president long enough, let someone else have a turn, Jefferson's friend, John Adams, became our second president. Four years later, Thomas Jefferson became our third president of the United States and many people believe he was one of the best presidents America has ever had. Whenever he was not sure what to do, Jefferson read the words he himself had written. They always helped him to make good decisions, and they are still helping us today. Do you recognize this statue? It's the Statue of Liberty. When America celebrated the 100th birthday of the Declaration of Independence, the government of France gave the nation the Statue of Liberty as a gift for America's birthday. France wanted to show how much they admired America's love of freedom and liberty, which Thomas Jefferson wrote about so beautifully in the Declaration of Independence. This statue still stands in New York Harbor, welcoming thousands of visitors each year. So whenever you see this famous statue, remember how hard Thomas Jefferson worked to declare that every person should have liberty or be free. So it sounds like, I hope you guys heard all of Thomas Jefferson's talents. He's a great author. He wrote beautifully and he helped us become free from the um, British and start our own country. Okay. You have a little quiz to do after the read aloud and you have some questions that you're, whoever's helping you can ask. Those are completely optional, but hope you enjoyed our story today.